Hello and welcome to my knitting podcast. My name is Yolanda and thank you so very much for joining me on my knitting journey. Today is another short video where I will talk about my 12 cast-ons of 2024, which is a cast-on party that started on Christmas Eve and will go on until the 31st of um, January. So I have come to my last cast-on today is cast on number 11 I will talk about and then uh, tomorrow I will start on my cast on number 12 and I am quite happy that I've come to number 12 because it is a big commitment and I chose a lot of sweaters which of course is not such a great idea but hey they will get finished for sure Tomorrow I will start another sweater, which is the Roots and Shoots, and that is another design from Tet Tetty Lusak. Um, she is a, a relatively uh, new designer as far as I know, but she has really lovely designs, mostly inspired on nature. So, let's talk about the green machine. Um, mine is not green, but it is blue, and I chose, wait a minute, I chose this yarn, which is Katja Fine, it is a uh, yarn from Germany, it is 50% uh, cotton and 50% acryl, acrylic, so it is a fingering weight yarn, but I didn't get gauge, I was quite far off you see so the row cage was quite good but the stitch cage i had too many stitches uh too little stitches the 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 gauge was let me check real quickly um 26 stitches by 36 rows and i had 22.5 stitches by 32 34 34 rows yes so I knitted half of the rows and then I uh, I measured it and yeah, but I did not want to change my needle size because this just gave a really nice fabric and if I would go down one or two needle sizes to get the right gauge, that would make the fabric very dense and stiff and I did not like that. So I made another choice and not just to go down a size which in the end I did but I wanted to calculate it if that is exactly the measurements I was going for so I made a short video about what to do if you can't get gauge and I will post it here on YouTube so in the end yes I made a smaller size but there's always the trick of um, yeah uh, will the rest of the measurements check out so you have to be aware if you choose a smaller size in the circumference you have to take the the um, all the other stitch or the rows you have to the, the length you have to take from the original size so if you go down one of two uh, sizes pattern wise for the width doesn't mean you also shrunk in length so you have to be aware of that of course so I got quite a substantial amount of knitting done so that is this starts as a flat knit and you bind off for the sleeves so they have to be grafted together at the end and then at the underarms you join it all together and start knitting a certain amount of centimeters and then at the bottom there is the lace it is all finished by um, an eye cord so the neckline and the armholes and the bottom hem so I'm just knitting away and this is my second ball that is almost finished but I have four more so I'm not worried at all it uh, creates a nice a nice fabric, uh, the, the acrylic makes it uh, pretty soft, um, yeah, uh, the, the downfall of, of any cotton yarn or plant-based uh, fibrous yarn is there is not so much stretch 
and that is knitting wise just uh, not so pleasurable in my opinion so yes this is a top i will be working on for the rest of this day the evening and tomorrow i will start up a new one so this is kind of um what it is for today I'm wearing a shawl, I wear it a lot. It is one of the shawls from Hoagie Locatelli. It is made out of hand spun yarn. And that hand spun yarn had um, a yellow. It was a yellow, but you know me in yellow. So I over dyed it and it became a um, orangey brownish. I think, well, I'm not sure it's the best color for me, but at least uh, um, it's very nice for layering and um, yeah. We, we're just in in the middle of winter so we have a lot of frost and in the early mornings the houses are very cold so that it's nice to wrap yourself in a shawl i also have a poncho i have knitted blankets everything is at the ready and yeah today is a sunny day which is very nice the lack of daylight also is um, ah, so very bad for the mood i think so yeah one more sweater to go and then I will concentrate on probably finishing the ones that are the closest to being finished and that is probably the the more DK weight and the, the like this one which just doesn't involve that much knitting and then I will just check uh, and see what I would like to knit I might knit um, on one particular product projects every day or a week or a month i will figure it out um i will be back in three more days and after that uh, at the end of the month i will do a roundup and i will show you all the projects and how far i got and what my uh, thoughts about it are and yeah we will go from there thank you for watching i hope you like subscribe and i'll see you in a few days happy knitting bye bye